whatever you think that is your private business but whatever you have to say it has something to do with others also you know suddenly in my mind out of animosity comes you are stupid and i say you are stupid you will slap me then and there so all thoughts should are not translated the way we want through our speech and actions the so best of the therapist is this science which teaches you how to apply that therapy which no one can help you it has been very helpful i'm telling you that i never had a therapist and any human being like you but i i see you suffering on account of such things you come to me and say you have guilt and you never ask swami ji do you have guilt Did you ever have guilt? You are a human being. I will say no. You should ask why. Why did you not have guilt as a human being? Why do I have? I will answer you. When I sit down, as I told you, keeping my head, neck, and trunk straight, I pay attention towards my body and nothing else. Not to breath, nothing else. Just body. because i am attending my body when my body is steady and still i don't think of it i pay attention towards my breath and not to my body because i have trained my mind that way and how did i train my mind my master you see it's easy to train Suppose mind says, "Rama, pick up this chalk." Is it needed? No. Why should I pick up? I don't want to pick up. Okay, mind, if you want to pick up, go and pick up. I will not move my hand. At least my hand I can see. I don't see you. So my master said, "Start doing this." When I was young, he said, "Any woman you see, young woman, think of your mother." And that idea vanished. This way, many things were taught to me during that time. Don't ever say that no human being on the earth, anybody who is human being, doesn't commit mistake. This is not true. The hypocrisy. and that's not true we all can commit mistakes but those who go on repeating mistakes they are weak human beings they don't come to that category they are not a strong people my sitting this way could hurt you but if i find that it is hurt and it's not acceptable perhaps i will not sit this way i will change my posture Okay. What do you mean by that guilt? Why do you suffer from that guilt? Is it your habit that you are sick of your habit and you cannot change? Is it your will power that you don't have will power if you want to do something and that you are not able to do? And you are constantly doing something which you are not supposed to do, which you think is bad according to you, and then you. can you start condemning yourself instead of appreciating admiring yourself i tell you i can tell you with complete certainty no cancer can ever occur without agony in the mind not possible not Cancer is created by mind. You see this disease like cancer. Any disease which is considered to be cancerous or impossible disease, mind is involved in it. Can that mind be trained to cure? Yes. Then why mind does not cure? By that time, mind is made over to cure. It becomes so weak that it loses its capacity. it's difficult to rehabilitate such a mind 
if you break somebody's legs so brutally and then try to rehabilitate, it's so difficult. Mind has capacity to cure, but mind, I used to do it, I used to create a many on my body, there are many, many such knife marks. I used to create conscious state tumor, test it and it is malignant, you see, and then there was nothing. You get your mind, you can create that mentally. Whatever you want, you do it, why don't? You can create disease, all these diseases are your creation, otherwise it would be a common disease disease for all. Why to only individual? That individual is creating disease and not, so this should be seen. When mind is learned to be, how mind over matter? And with the help of breath, to understand the twin laws of life, perhaps it will be helpful for you. So there is a ther therapy, the teacher is there. This is called, the highest of all fires is called jnana fire, jnana, knowledge, fire of knowledge. All fires are pretty in front of that, jnana, knowledge. And for that knowledge, fire of knowledge, we could call it guru. Guru means that which dispels the darkness of Ignorance is called guru. It's a fire. It's a knowledge. So particularly, this is called jana chakra or guru chakra on trikuti. Here, yeah. just put your thumb here. No, you see me. <laughs> what I am doing, and then from it starts trikuti. So Trikuti he starts here, you know. So after you have attained the still posture, Sri in breath, and you start dealing with your mind, Manha Prakshalana comes, how to purify your mind. Finest of all therapy, no therapist in the world can do such a good job. You sit down, you ask your mind. Now, recall all the thoughts. If you sit down one day and find out how many good things have you done in your life, it will be difficult for you to remember. It will be easy for you to remember how many odd things you have done, mind will bring thousands and thousands and thousands of odd things. So that which you think, many times you think something odd, it's not. According to your knowledge and growth, sometimes you take something very seriously, which we should not, which you should not. But what to do? That's your habit. I am not beautiful, you say. Who says that you are not beautiful? Others? But you are you. You are the most beautiful in the world. There is no one that can be compared. Learn to appreciate yourself. I am not a good person. Why? I have many guilt feelings. You have simply learned bad things that is called storing, storage, holding things. So after you have learned how to sit, then dealt with it. You come with your mind. First thing you do it, ask your mind to sit here. Anything that comes, that something comes, you should offer it to the fire of 